Welcome back. We're joined once again by Reverend Vance Haywood and denomination vice moderator Mark Goodett, both of St. John's Metropolitan Community Church. Thank you guys for hanging out. Mm -hmm. Well, you do a lot of things locally, and we haven't even gotten, we just scraped uh, the tip of the iceberg. But let's talk about what you do globally, mm -hmm. uh, which is also a lot. Maybe, who, who would like to take this? What are some of the things you're involved in? Um, we started a few years ago with um, providing tuition assistance uh, at an orphanage uh, in um, Kampala. And uh, that continued over a few years and then a, a, maybe a year or two into that, we started providing food assistance for that same orphanage. Um, and so that's one of the big outreaches that we have um, uh, globally. Um, and we've continued that relationship uh, through, through uh, the assistance programs, but then also being able to engage with them on a daily basis. I talk to the, the organizers of the orphanage nearly every day um, and check in with the kids and see how they're doing and, and get to, to talk with them uh, through messenger and, and video apps. Well, that's very cool. How do you get involved in something like that? I mean, there's so much need. How mm -hmm. do you choose? Why this orphanage? Um, you're right, it's hard. There's a lot of need out there. Uh, this one connected with us through one of our, our global outreach partners at the denomination. Um, and it just, we actually, we didn't even realize uh, it, when we first did the, the nutrition support uh, that it was the exact same orphanage. We just knew it was a, a similar organization. And then we realized it's the same, uh, same space. Um, but yeah, they came to us through the denomination, uh, through our, our, one of our partner organizations, Metropolitan Communities. Um, and you know, we just engaged with them that way and, and got to start talking with Charles, the, the leader there, and uh, really connected with them and wanted to help any way we could. What kind of a difference does that make for the kids? I mean, being orphaned is tough enough. Mark? Yeah. Oh, it makes a huge difference. Uh, they look for our support in order to not only uh, for educational purposes, but also to, to feed them uh, mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Um, so it's extremely important for the help that we're currently giving them. Mm -hmm. You guys are so busy locally, mm -hmm. right? You're doing a lot locally. And now, now, now you're what, over in Wilmington with hurricane relief? And that's mm -hmm. another area in which you got involved in. First of all, I've got to ask, why? Why even get involved in that? I, I thought, uh, you know, the government was going to take care of us. Oh, the hurricane relief? Yeah. Yeah, the Wilmington project uh, popped up and Robinson County w was in there as well because you know, Robinson County is my home county. Ah. Uh, but we have a, a church, sister church in Wilmington, um, and their food pantry was impacted during the hurricane. Uh, they couldn't, you know, they, they gave out a food uh, within the first day or two of the hurricane uh, hitting. And so um, the roads were out and they had issues getting food supplies in. Uh, so we flew in um, several loads of food to be able to help sustain that pantry and, and keep it going. Um, and so that's really how we got into it. We just saw the need and, and uh, have a connection there and, and jumped in to help. You know, I, I think so many people are, I'm sure, watching this morning as well. We, we don't see these things, you know. It, it's happening all around us. And, and to have people who are willing to do this, mm -hmm. not only you guys who are directing it, but your congregation and others mm -hmm. who step in, it's pretty remarkable. Mm -hmm. In fact, you're building a, a virtual community. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that because of COVID or is it because it's... Uh, it's the new it's the new 21st century thing to do what is that all about <laughs> um, you want to... oh, what is virtual well yeah. first of all what is it? I got an oculus for Christmas I don't want to throw that in your face <laughs> but it's pretty it's pretty cool is uh -huh. that the kind of virtual reality you're talking about what is it first of all define it for me so uh, the virtual connection uh, is just uh, being able to connect with people from around the world. Uh, we do that through video messaging, through just instant messaging, uh, various platforms. I mean, there's so many out there now. Um, and folks contact us on nearly all of them. Um, and so it's just having that presence in communities around the world. Um, and, and we see that, you know, I think we've always had people that are reaching out uh, because MCCs aren't in every city uh, in the United States or in, around the globe. And so we see folks that are, that are hungry for that message or hungry for that community, um, and they reach out to us, and this is providing us a way to be able to meet that need and, and provide um, services and, and just connection and relationship with those folks. Now, you as a denominational vice moderator, now this is an organization above and beyond, is it not, of uh, St. John's? Am I correct with that? Yes, yes, yeah, correct. So this is in itself kind of a, a community. So when you talk about a global virtual community, um, how, is that, how has that impacted what you do at, at St. John's, Mark? Uh, so in terms of a global community, uh, in terms of, um, well, as we talk about COVID and, and, and the things that we've had to do differently, 
um, all of these different tools and platforms that we're leveraging is important in order to keep us together as a community, particularly as a denomination. Our board is um, all over not only the United States, but our moderator actually sits in the UK. Uh, so it's important that we have these tools in order to keep us together and in order to stay connected. Um, so again, these tools that we're using um, at the church, we're also using at the denominational level as well. Mm -hmm. well. That's pretty amazing. And with technology today, the other side of the world is as close as next door. It's yeah. just pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, stay right where you are. I think we're going to be joined by somebody else coming up in the next segment. Uh, but don't you go away with St. John's Metropolitan Community Church. Lots more to talk about. We'll be back. <laughs> 